What's going on guys, it's RunDZ here and we're going to be doing a quick review of the Asus G15 3070 uh, graphics card in there. Uh, we're going to be doing, so it comes stock with 16 gigs of RAM and we're going to be putting the Ripsaw G skill in there, adding uh, an extra 32 gigs, so 40 gigs of RAM total. And uh, we're just going to make this video quick, sweet and short. Uh, I'm going to basically, I have an external monitor just so you guys know what's going on. Uh, so I'm streaming, for, or it's going to be 1440 on the external monitor. I'm also using my side monitor for OBS. And we're just basically trying to see if we can make it so this laptop can stream. So again, we're going from 16 up to 40 gigs of RAM. And we're going to be testing it while recording on uh, recording Call of Duty. So let's see how it does. And uh, we're going to do a quick test here to see how this game performs before and after. Uh, just have the frames in the top left. You guys can average them yourself. I'm just throw this together real quick just to see if anybody cared to know the difference playing specifically Call of Duty. I'm just gonna do one game. I really, I, this is like the only game that seems to give me like a lot of trouble like streaming or anything like that. Normally I'd be streaming on the big PC, but seeing how the wife decided to drop coffee in her PC, I gave her mine for the time being until I get another one. She streams more than me anyway, so. Let's just give it a little bit of time. We'll go till we die. And then we can get hopefully somewhat of a average. Right now I'm looking at like about 60s, 50s dropping. Seems like between 55 and 59. I'm not gonna go crazy. I'm just gonna rush somebody. You're fighting over here. All right, so we killed him. Wait till this runs off. Go find somebody else. Need some plates. Try to give this like a little bit of time. Just so you guys can get like a picture of the frame rate. This is my first game of the day too, so. So I don't know if it's gonna be like I appreciate like when I started streaming I remember it it was like seemed a little bit rougher than this I've been really really tweaking my settings which I guess you guys would want to see that too so let's throw that up here so I'm full screen borderless right now you'll be better off full screen but going back between OBS and this and if you're streaming it's just so much easier to have it that way uh, so streaming quality normal text resolution normal. Texture filter, normal. I'll just keep going down and read them all. High, enabled, disabled, disabled. Shadow map resolution, low, cache enabled, enabled uh, sun shadows, particle lighting low, disabled ray tracing. We don't need none of that in this game. We're looking to shoot people. We've got film at one. Uh, uh, NVIDIA DLSS, I am using that at quality. Uh, not sure if I'm seeing too much of a difference between that and then just depth of field blur and all the weapon nonsense is at zero. So. All right guys, so we just loaded in a second ago. This is with the uh, 40 gigs of RAM. Uh, I'm gonna try to pull up on the side, see how much it is using. So right now we're using 17.7 gigs of RAM so that kind of like goes to show you right off the rip that uh, that stock 16 while using OBS is probably not going to be enough uh, I don't see too much difference in actual frame rate on the game from what I can tell right now we'll see once we actually drop it and get out of the lobby and then uh, go from there see what it does but the real test is going to be actual streaming too, I think, because if the game's playable streaming, like, it's definitely making a big difference, which we're sitting really high 80s right now, so. Which I'm sure there's always better settings people can do. I don't really know them or anything like that, so. I did a quick, I went on YouTube, looked up what I needed real quick, and then ran with those settings.
Bro, that guy is so mad. He had no idea where I was punching him from. He just knew he was getting molly wop. Close to this guy. Okay, so during the uh, editing process of the video, like I could tell a big difference in frames. So when I was watching the original footage with the 16 gigs of stock memory for the laptop, uh, it seemed like I was pulling around 60 frames the entire time. Uh, I know there's like later on, I guess, uh, once I put the 32, uh, added that 32 gigs of RAM, making it a total of 40, uh, I would say it was going between about 75 and 85. Uh, frames per second and uh, that was something that would this laptop would never do beforehand if I was actually streaming uh, and had OBS up so with that being said I think this definitely makes a massive difference uh, I wouldn't say anything like boot wise has slowed down uh, I know there's a lot of talk about like dual channel like basically if you upgrade it past that uh, threshold of 8 gigs it's not gonna have dual channel anymore but the, how that works is you're gonna have like the eight gig, so you'll still have 16 gigs of dual channel, and then after that it'll be single channel, which I don't believe there's even too much of a difference when it comes to that anyway, so don't let that be the reason why you don't upgrade. So I bought this uh, 32 gigs of RAM last week on Amazon. It was only like $110, so for that price, I would say it's worth the upgrade. It definitely made a big difference, and if you are doing editing and stuff, that will definitely help out in the long run too. So with that being said, if you guys can do what you guys always do on videos, hit that like button, hit that sub button, and I uh, definitely appreciate support.